so it's Sunday morning and um, got a little bit late getting up and uh, now everyone in the family wants breakfast so if I don't do anything they're just gonna go and eat uh, maybe just milk or whatever or they have nothing um, so what I'm gonna give is to my son is a banana and uh, I had soaked chickpeas overnight uh, so they're always ready as a quick breakfast uh, dates and nuts you know, while I go and explore in my kitchen what I have and I think today I'm gonna make um, sweet potato waffles which means there will be no egg in it so if people want an egg they can have a boiled egg or fry it or whatever way they want but at least I can have those waffles which are without fat and without eggs and dairy in this recipe um, I'm I need to use rolled oats uh, which you can use if you find them I generally don't keep rolled oats at home because they don't have as much fiber as steel cut oats but that's totally fine go ahead use rolled oats uh, about one and a half cups uh, what I am doing is I have this dry grinder so I've put my oats in it and I've also added some um, millet which uh, you can find in uh, most um, Indian stores uh, so um, I'm gonna just uh, put the millet along with the rolled oats here it is it looks like this and uh, and I've added already uh, some in uh, earlier uh, than taking this video so I'll just pulse it a little bit to give it um, uh, break the rolled oats and the uh, millet uh, a little bit to make it easier for the waffles there is my dry grinder Vitamix it's amazing so I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. Powdery. I won't make it very powdery and that's it. All right, now we start assembling the first set, which is I just needed about one and a half cup of uh, rolled oats, if you have, but I'm just changing up a little bit and I'm adding this blend that I just made um, and then I will take uh, this is my organic whole wheat um, flour that I have sometimes I just bring whole wheat berries and um, grind the flour on my own but here it is so about three fourth cups so I'll save a little bit because this is one cup there uh, maybe they can add this okay uh, so now it has uh, oats and flour, uh, two tablespoon sugar. So I generally use something like this, a rock sugar, and I just go and put that in and pound it. Uh, it's nicely pounded. It's kind of a little raw and not going to be as fine as the white sugar, but. Um, uh, you yeah, know, this is much better than using white sugar, which is very bleached and uh, has no benefits. And in fact, it gets into our blood circulation really fast. And that gives us the spikes of insulin and blood sugar, which we're trying to avoid. Um, then I will add one, about one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. This is what I have. Um, and one fourth teaspoon salt so again I use Himalayan salt um, because it is full of vitamins and minerals it hasn't been stripped off and the problem that happens with the, the regular table salt is that it has too much sodium in it and that's what um, harms people but when you have a full whole salt uh, it's not harmful here is my uh, bowl full of the uh, rolled oats, flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And I am also going to add uh, some saffron to it. Look at that. Uh, it's saffron from Iran. 
and that is the best saffron ever it um, came in this beautiful packaging um, the, the company is amazing I personally visited the store over there and it was just mountains of saffron sitting there and look at that that is the saffron flower um, I saw those and I tasted it just out of this world so here goes I'm gonna pick only just this much they're very expensive and hard and to get so here you go my saffron goes into it in this recipe you will uh, need to have blender um, so I hope you have a good blender um, so we start off with sweet potatoes um, when I bring sweet potatoes from the market I just um, bake a few of them so I have them in the fridge about three four of them and this looks a little um, um, not that pretty but they're really good and uh, sweet potatoes have a lot of benefit for our skin for our guts uh, so I try to use a lot of sweet potatoes um, and everything um, I know in India you get a different white variety of sweet potatoes I like those much better than this yellow one but this is good so I took this you can mash it up but because my blender is really good I don't need to mash it up about a cup and a half of uh, sweet potatoes and uh, then I will put so there they go in my blender They go in my blender okay there and then I will take about half a cup of soaked chickpeas that were soaked overnight uh, you could also use instead of soaked chickpeas if you have um, cooked your chickpeas then the water from the chickpeas so you could take about um, one fourth cup of that water but I didn't have that water, so I've just taken half a cup of chickpeas um, here. Um, then I will take, so one cup of plant-based milk. And this is my own almond milk, which is really simple to make. Uh, I just blend almonds in water. <laughs> Sometimes I soak them overnight and then blend. So this is really nice. You could use coconut milk. So I'm trying to avoid um, dairy and eggs. Um, as you can see but if you don't have that and you still want to make this with your own ingredients and you you have milk go ahead use that if you can use organic milk that's even better if you can use um, goat milk that's even better because it's more digestible then I will take about uh, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar so this is the one I use uh, which is organic raw unfiltered um, so make sure uh, you use that and I have a tablespoon of that already here I just put it oops a little bit of dal but that's okay uh, and then one and a half teaspoon of ginger so again because my blender is really good I don't need to mash things up it just goes straight into the blender and uh, now I will so here is my nice batter and here is the mix that we made i'm just going to start adding it here and you know what if you find it's a little too thick just add some water or if you want to add your um, almond milk or whatever milk you've used um, and just basically mixing it up to um, make a thick batter and what I'm trying to do is um, avoid uh, milk and dairy which um, in the last waffle that I made um, previous videos if you go we did it with milk and eggs um, but I don't um, generally eat milk and eggs because um, it's not good for our um, 
bodies it's not good for um, insulin especially if you're diabetic even for our bones um, milk and eggs don't really help they give a lot of inflammation and if you want to boost your immunity then um, definitely you need to stay away from uh, dairy and eggs and things like that but different people are in the family they want to eat that and again uh, you know you can't become the food police so what we try to do is um, add more vegetables and fruits um, as an extra dish or whenever you're cooking try to make one dish that avoids uh, milk and eggs and uh, meats and fats as well fats is really important to avoid and um, eggs have a lot of fats so that's what we're trying to avoid um, and even milk causes a lot of inflammation in fact uh, there are studies that uh, people with um, in the countries that consume a lot of milk are the ones that have more arthritis uh, so uh, that notion of that you can get calcium only from milk is already been debunked you can get calcium, a lot of calcium from vegetables, especially kale has a lot of calcium. Um, all of these have calcium. So now this batter is ready and I'm going to turn on my pancake um, pan and just start spooning the batter in it. Now if you want to add any butter or oil to it, go ahead add it. Now I have a ceramic pan which uh, does not need any so I'm just going to put it in blobs over here and uh, nice little pancakes will come around there now if I wanted to make it a little more um, less thick I can definitely go ahead and add keep adding more of my batter and it will not be as thick so you Choose the consistency you want uh, and just make it more, more or less thick. So I feel I want to make it a little more flowy because I'm going to even use it in my waffle maker. So now I'm also going to use the same batter in my waffle maker. So for the waffle maker, it's a little too thick. And here is my almond milk that I made myself. I'm just going to use a little more of it here. And yes, almonds too will give you calcium, but not a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot. Uh, and the idea is to eat foods that will make your intestinal walls um, have more ability to absorb. So whatever you eat should also get absorbed now if you're eating a lot of fats uh, the intestinal walls cannot absorb a lot of things uh, so no matter how much you keep eating uh, even supplements uh, you will have a harder time absorbing things so now this is uh, becoming a little less um, viscous and uh, ready for my waffle maker and I think this is good enough. Um, I'm not a big fan of non-stick things and that, um, which are not uh, like ceramic, but um, sometimes I use this. Um, so let's see, let's spoon this batter here. I don't know if it's a little thicker. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll find out. And just spread it around. But it's really hearty. Like you saw, we've got oats and sweet potatoes and almonds in it. And um, so I don't um, filter my almond milk. It's got the whole almonds. The ones you get in the store is really you're paying a lot of money for water because it hardly has any almonds in it. Um, there, we're gonna color this up. All right, so here, I just turned it, whoa! It, I waited a little too long, so that's okay. Uh, let's see this one, there. Now, I think they were a little mm, thicker than they needed to be, and that's why it's 
they look a little harder but it's like a good substitute for bread as well you know ouch so it's got everything you need in a bread and it's um, tasty now you could have added chocolate chips to it as well and that's totally fine and it would have um, made that so maybe i will add some chocolate chips to the next uh, batch and uh, we'll see how that goes so i really did cover it a little bit um, and just leave it on low flame so here i got my husband now to put the batter in it and along with some chocolate chips so i did add chocolate chips i added a little bit more almond milk to it to make it um, more flowy and here it is so he is putting this um, batter so anyone can do it i think next time i'll get my son to do it okay so i am excited to see what my waffle maker is turning out for me and oh my god that is going to be a surprise <gasps> it is working woohoo now i need ah look at that i'm gonna get a spatula and take it Ooh. look at that there's no egg in here there's no fat in here there's no milk in here and ooh la 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 this waffle looks amazing amazing Ta -da! all right so now the waffle is ready and i'm going to pair it up with some grated apples uh and cinnamon and some raisins on it and then i'm going to drizzle some nice maple syrup on it from a local farmer and have some dates and nuts with it now that is a wholesome meal that takes care of everything